Root cellars aren't nearly as flashy as other survival technologies, but if you're really serious about the food security for yourself and your family, then root cellars are definitely something that you'll want to take a look at. Traditional root cellars are cool, moist spaces where you can preserve fruits and vegetables for months on end without electricity. And despite all the odds and some modern ideas, root cellars are somehow still with us and in fact growing in popularity. If relying on just-in-time food supplies from grocery stores and restaurants strikes you as risky, given the collapse-prone world that we live in right now, then you and I have something big in common. I'm Steve Maxwell, and my wife and I and our five children live in a stone and timber home we built ourselves on a remote rural island. We practice the root cellar lifestyle, along with a lot of other self-reliance skills, and for the last 25 years, I've published information that helps people to become more self-reliant in all things practical. I'm especially convinced that right now there are unprecedented reasons to take precautions and to secure the food supply that you and your family and friends are going to need. That's one reason I wrote the complete root cellar book back in 2010. If the comfort and security that we've come to expect does come to a sudden end, and there are lots of reasons to think that it very well might, then doesn't it make sense to take the time now to build and fill a root cellar for yourself and your family? So thank you very much for joining me on this seminar. It's really my privilege to share everything I can about root cellars with you over the next hour or so. And more than anything, I want to see lots of people become resilient and resourceful and be able to provide for their own food needs without the help of outside organizations and governments. And a well-furnished mind is a great place to start. In this seminar, I'm going to give you information on the five key areas for making a root cellar a part of your life. One, how to store vegetables over winter simply without building anything. Two, how to modify an existing basement cold room so it actually works as a basic root cellar. Three, how to manage any kind of root cellar for the best food storage life. Four, how to build a walk-in basement root cellar from scratch. And five, how to build a top-of-the-line, self-contained backyard root cellar. In this seminar, I'll be giving you plans, photos, and illustrations to equip you to succeed. But before I do that, I want to answer the six most common root cellar questions that I hear from people all the time.